Welcome everybody tonight to the VIP Promotions Show in association with Gary Booth's Sulphur City Boxing Academy. I am Aki Kareem and I am joined in the commentary position by Mr. Dan Murray. How are you, Dan? I'm fantastic, Aki. How are you, mate? Long I'm time good, no mate. see. Long time no see. Looking forward to this. We've got Simon Neseda in there against Ozzy Gervija. And uh, from all accounts, this could be a bit of an exciting one because um, this Ozzy, he's a bit of an unknown quantity, but he's uh, in six of his wins, he's had five stoppage stoppages so um he, he could be a dark horse we've also got um simon i know quite well he's a very nice boxer um, from norway but he uh trains with kelvin travis who has uh, obviously been around the circuit yeah i saw him in the change rooms before naysaver and he, he looked good he looks nice and composed and i've heard some very very good things about him so expecting a uh, big things but his opponent here also um he can punch he's got a 50 50 record but most of his wins have come by stoppage so they say we'll have to be switched on at all times. And of course, when they get into those small gloves, it's a different dynamic, isn't it? From, you know, sparring and etc. So It is. Especially with the cruiserweights here, one punch can change everything. So, Naysaver just needs to be switched on, needs to take his time and have a good look at his opponent. He's a good technical boxer, so that'll stand him in good stead. He's good defensively as well. Yeah. Uh, and he's good at controlling range. So, those are all things you need when you're fighting a puncher. Yeah, ozzy has got the uh, groin guard quite high up there, but I think Naysaver should still be targeting the body when he backs him up. I've seen you wear, wear yours higher than that, actually, a couple of times. Yeah, I only wear it low when you're about. So try and... Uh, Standard. Yeah. Nice composed start here from Naysaver, just having a good look. That's it. I, th I think the body's the key here for Naysaver. I think if he backs his man up with a jab and then he can just land him downstairs. He's got to be careful not to not to load up at the minute. It looks like what Naysaver's doing a little bit, but having some great success with that right up to the body. Well, they do often say when someone does wear their, wear their guard higher, <coughs> they're, not, they're not confident to the body. No, absolutely not, no. I think it's right for Naysaver just to have a good look at him in this first round. And I won't be surprised if next round he starts trying to step up a little bit. Maybe put a second phase attack in. He's already started closing range a little bit with the short left hook. Yeah. Ozzy just reminding us there that he's, he's, here to, he's here to fight, he's here to win and he's, he's dangerous. He's throwing some pretty meaty shots there. Nice. nice cupping right hand round the side. They're the ones that can catch you cold, you know the ones that catch you around the ear and the temple and they're horrible, them shots. Yeah, they can disorientate you and you can really affect your balance. Impressed with Naysaver this first round. He's obviously spotted quite early that uh, Ozzy's open to the body. These right hands are catching gloves sometimes, but they're still going through the gloves at times as well. So um, yeah, that makes sense. You know, the, the effects are being felt. Yeah, they're, they're heavy shots. He's going to feel them through the gloves. I just thought I saw a couple of distress signals there from Ozzy towards the end of the round. Uh, I think he's feeling the power a little bit of Naysaver.
Okay, here we go, round number two. I think um, Seaman Naysaytha took the first round. Uh, I think can't really argue with that. Is that right, Dan? No, I can't really make a case for Rossi in that first round. I think Naysaytha now will look to up the pace, maybe put some pressure on <coughs> and see if he can wear his man down and hopefully force a stoppage. Well, he'd come out jabbing. He's obviously been told from the corner to get back to the fundamentals, pop that jab out. Yeah, I felt in the first round, Naysaytha was loading up a little bit. Um, and, and I'd like to see him box behind the jab, a bit more kind of conserved and a bit more kind of steady and really look for his shots and plant them in. He, he destructs the jab very well, doesn't he, Naysaytha? The way, you know, he, he parries it with the right hand. He, he what, sorry? He destructs he destru it. Destructs it, yeah. Have you not heard that one, Dan? No, no, first time for me, that. Well, um, mate, you learn something new every day. Okay, so he destroys the jab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, Oz oh, that's a lovely body up. shot. Oz Ozzy's a tough fella, and while he's in there, he's dangerous. Um, but Naysaver at the minute, he's doing everything right. He's got his hands up nice and high. He's working behind the jab. And when he gets the opportunity, he's sinking Oz body shots him. Nice jab. Have you seen much of Naysaver? Yeah, I, I, in fact, the last time he fought here, I commentated on it, and okay. uh, you know, he looked very nice. You know, it was a technical display. I've, I've seen him train as well. I've been to visit him um, at yeah. Jamie Moore's gym. Uh, seen him train with Kelvin. Yeah. Of course, Kelvin has been around uh, the circuit, of, of course, with the Olympic team, and, and uh, yeah. famous for training uh, all the Harrison as well. Yeah, wealth of experience. He's been about the game a long time, and Naysaver nice couldn't be in better hands. This uh, this uh, Aussie Gervier, he's actually been in with some good fighters, you know, Wadi Camacho, yeah. uh, Isaac Chamberlain. So he's been around, you know, he's, he's he no spring chicken, as they say. Well, I say. <laughs> um, I think he's one of those fighters, if you let him into the fight, he, he'll cause you real problems. I think you can't let him into the fight and you can't let him up close. You have to pick him off with that jab. You'll see when Naysave is busy with a jab, Aussie's not really doing much. He, he prefers to be in there winging some shots in. So, so what I like is when Naysaver's throwing the shots, he's throwing his heavy shots, his body shots, he's getting straight back on the jab now and it's keeping Ozzy out of the fight. Just got to be careful to clash ahead heads there up close. I think that's where uh, he, Ozzy wants to be, doesn't he? He wants to try and get on his chest because when you're fighting, fighting someone who's a better technical boxer than you, you need, to make, you need to change the angles, don't you? Make it a bit closer distance. Yeah, when Naysaver's jabbing, he's, he's keeping Ozzy out of it. Ozzy just can't compete with his jab. But he's still dangerous. Has he come down there? He come back with a counter left up there. It's quite looked a quite a good shot. Another round in the bank there for uh, Simon. Uh, good round. Number three, the VIP promotion show in association with uh, Salford City Boxing Academy. And we're seeing a nice boxing display from Simon, they say, there at the minute. Yeah, it's a, it's a good learning fight uh, for Naysaver. He's, he's come out in this round, I think he's looking to up the pace a little bit, but Ozzy having some success with that, that counter right hand there. What I like there is Ozzy did try and bring it then, but Simon stood his ground and pushed him back. And that's a, that's a really good sign, isn't it, as well? To be honest, I think that's been the pattern of the fight. I think Ozzy's come out every round trying to impose himself, but the superior skills of uh, Naysaver there has kind of kept them at bay. Stalking his man now, isn't he? Cutting the ring off nicely. Just inching his way into range. Yeah, I'd like to see him a bit busy though when he gets up close. There you go. Really let his shots go. I suppose though, when you're not meeting that much resistance, just you, you sort of box within yourself. I mean, would you would you would you take risks when you're ahead? In Cer a fight? Certainly wouldn't take risks. But if you back someone like Ozzy up and he's not really doing much, you tee off with a jab and you try and put some hard shots in, especially to the body. I'd be asking him questions, kind of how, how bad do you want to be in there? And you do that with some nice body shots, some nice hard body shots, really asking the question, how much do you want it? How much do you want to be in there? You actually did that to me the other day in, in, in the gym, didn't you? 
I you're did. asking me how much I want it to be in there, body shots going in. I did, I don't know how long you're going to bring that up for, I've said sorry about a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy's kind of resigned himself now to being on the back foot, he's, he's moving, he's quite elusive and this is where Simon uh, Naysaver, where his jab's going to be up, oh, it's a nice especially important. Through the middle of the guard. Again there, he walks him into the ropes, when he walks him in, when he walks back against ropes, I know what you're saying, that's where he needs to sort of let the shots go, isn't it? He does, but he has to be careful, because Ozzy's going on the back foot now on the ropes, he's quite elusive, he's quite unpredictable, so he's got to really pick his shots, he can't just unload carelessly, because Ozzy's shown a few times now, when he comes back with the counters, he's, he's got a few shots in his locker that look quite dangerous, especially that counter left hook of his, he slaps it a little bit, but it still looks like there's a bit of power in it. There you go, you see yeah, it there. Yeah. Very unorthodox movement the way you come off the rope there. Yeah. Well, he, like you say, you know, when, his wins, he's, when he's winning, he's winning by stoppage. Yeah, you can see that as well, I think. You can see that. You can see it'd be quite easy to uh, outbox him. Yeah. But if you, got in, if you got in a fight with him, I think it's a bit of a 50-50 because he does look like a powerful lad. Just want to see a bit more, bit more fighting now from Naysaver. Forced the movement of Ozzy, because he's on the back foot and he's, he's quite unpredictable. Fainting, forced the move, movement, and then you can see what shot to throw. Good round though, it's a good learning fight. Yeah. Number four we go, we're at Earlham and Caddy Shed today, it's the VIP show in association with Salford City Boxing Academy. We've got Sa Simon Nesaitha in there, and he's against Ozzy Javier. And we've seen a good little fight here actually, I mean, it's going um, Simmons' way, but to be fair, um, he's meeting some resistance in spots. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good learning fight for Nesaitha here, and he's got to be switched on at all times, because it is going his own way, but you could kind of see how Ozzy could get himself back into it if Nesaitha switched off, so he's, he's really got to be switched on here. And he's kind of, you, you can tell the experience of Ozzy. I know he's had tr only 12 fights, but he looks quite experienced. He's kind of trying to old man his way around the ring a bit, faint and moving. You get the sense as well, he's trying to lull um, Simon into a bit of a false sense of security so he can spring him with some of those uh, wild shots off the ropes. Yeah, I, th I think that's his only option at the minute, is to get on the back foot, hope that Naysaver really opens up and leaves himself open, and then he can throw a few haymakers and hopefully land one. I mean, what would you make of this, Aki, if you was in Naysaver's corner? Would you tell him to push on, try and force a stoppage? Or? To be honest with you, he's winning every round boxing within himself, so yeah. I, I wouldn't be telling him to take any risks against a puncher, No. to be honest. That's what I'd be saying. I'd be saying, doing what you're doing, assert the jab a bit more. Yeah. But no, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be asking for you know, massive combinations or anything like that. No. It's, uh, for me, it's a nice kind of mature performance from Naysaver at the moment. It'd be nice if he could force a stoppage, but at the minute it's a nice mature kind of performance. Picking his shots quite well. Nice jab. See, so you, you get a fighter and if you if he can jab, if he's got a good jab, he just makes it so much easier for himself. I think that's what Naysaver's doing now. Yeah. You imagine Naysaver now, he didn't have much of a jab, he'd turn into a right old fight. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's took it up nicely though, isn't he, they say though. He's got a, he's got a decent defence, he's quite an orthodox defence. He, he took something nice. Doesn't give you that much to work off. No, no, he doesn't know and that's unfortunate for Ozzy because a lot of Ozzy's shots, are, the big winging shots kind of hit and hold, but yeah, they say he's got a nice tight guard there and he's taking a lot on the gloves. But Ozzy, Ozzy's come to fight. 
Uh, at the start of every round, he's come out quite strong, especially in this round. He, he looks now he's he's trying to step it up in the last 30 seconds or so. Well, that's that's what you want, isn't it? You want um, you know the, the the journeyman, so to speak, to, to come and give it a go and actually test your man to find out where they're at, don't you? Yeah, because <clears throat> it's a good ed educational fight for Nasir. If he'd have walked out in the first round and he'd have cracked him, and um, as he would have went down straight away, what does he learn from that? At least with this one, he, he learns. He, he knows he can't switch off. And that's about stepping up the levels. When you step up, when you step up. In we go to round number five then. They say they're doing well in there against uh, Javija. So far he's won every round, but he's, he's been made to work. And he's got to be switched on, as you say. Yeah, just you'd expect more of the, more of the same from Naysaver here. Maybe step it up a little bit. Um, maybe a few more combinations when he's got his man back to the ropes. And start landing some of them body shots again earlier in the rounds. He's landing the body shots. He's having some great success. I, th I think that's how you break someone like Cosy. You, you work him to the body, get him back with that jab, and there you go. He brings his hands up, and then you whip the body shots in. But it looks so easy from out here, doesn't it? Okay. Well, that's it. That's it. Um, whole different ball game when you're in there, isn't it, man? Yep, as you learnt the other night in the gym. <laughs> to be honest, the footage we do have, I actually was doing pretty well against you, let's be honest. Yeah, it's been heavily edited, <laughs> and you, you were doing okay. It's like the uh, McGregor and Malinagi sparring, where you release a 15 second clip. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Good from Naysay, we're just in the clinch, just walking his man back to the ropes. Uh. Yeah, he seems to be quite strong physically, doesn't he? He's got, you know, I mean, he's got well-built legs. To be honest, both lads look quite strong. They look like they bang, but the difference has been the yeah, boxing ability of Naysaver. Well, modern-day cruiserweights have got to be mobile and, um, you know, dynamic as well, haven't they? Yeah. Gone, gone are the days of your plodding for the cruiserweights. Go. Good shot there. Now he's starting to open up. This is where he needs to be careful, though. Chin down. Yeah, forearm because control was good there. Yeah, because Ozzy's going to come back with some shots now, no doubt. Good job. <laughs> and you're right, he's not come to lie down, has he? He is firing back, and I've got to give him credit for that. Listen, every second he's in there, he's, he's in with a chance because he's a strong lad. He can bang, his record shows it. I think he's had six wins, five stoppages. And you just you just can't mess about with someone like that. You need to be on, on the ball for every second you're in there. He actually see, those shots seem to have actually spurred him into action a bit more. Yeah, I mean, fair play to us. He's really trying to make well, a fight, but that's a nice heavy shot. He has been stopped three times, Ozzy. He has been stopped three times. So, uh, I think Nay Nay Saver now he's pushing forward. He can sense he's got his man in a little bit of trouble. He's uh, he's wearing him down, but Ozzy just keeps coming forward, keeps marching forward. Okay, here we go into the sixth and final round of VIP Promotions Show in association with Salford City Boxing Academy. What are you expecting for this last round? After well, you think you know he's going to cruise? At the end of the last round, cruise, he was or? really getting to him, wasn't he? So, yeah, why not? The stoppage could be... I mean, if he goes for it, I think I feel he could stop Ozzy. But it's whether you want to take the risk. 
Very wise words. I think Ozzy now he's just come to survive a little bit in this last round. I, I think you're right at the end of the last round, he, he was a bit distressed. May say he was putting the pressure on, but now I think uh, I think Ozzy's given up now, he just wants to see the final bell. And I think, you know, Naysay is starting to open up with a, with, a, with a different variety of shots and, you know, he's feeling he's feeling quite confident in this position, isn't he? He's in the groove right now. Yeah. I think it's an impressive performance for Naysay. I think his trainer there, his coach, uh, Kelvin, will be very happy with it. He'll be very satisfied with it. From his hometown of Norway, his home, his home country of Norway, and now Norway. I was um, going to say, I didn't know Norway was a town. Well, yeah. Cheers, Dan, for the geography lesson. <laughs> but um, yeah, we, there's not much of it. There's not a massive boxing scene in Norway, which might be, you know, in part due to why. Uh, he, you know, he, he do, do you know what I was talking to him before, and he said that he said boxing's not massive in Norway, and a lot of fighters in Norway they just sit about and wait for opportunities. They don't get many fights. Yeah. But what is he big said, in Norway? He, what, what's, what's this national sport? The national sport. That's a very good question. Like bobsledding or something. Yeah. Maybe. But no, he's he's come over to England to get active, to get some experience, and you've got to say full credit to the lad for that. You know, they, like he's done everything behind the jab, hasn't he? He's done everything right, hasn't he? It's, it's been a very calculated, mature performance. Uh, and I can't wait to see him uh, step up, really step up. And in fact, someone who's, you know, someone who's going to bring it to him as well, so he can, uh, <coughs> he, can see how, he can see how he fares then against someone who comes to really fight and put it on him. Well, the cruiserweight division is a good division domestically. Um, I mean, it, a, a couple of, you know, year, about a year or two ago, it was one of the best divisions around. I think the light heavyweight division sort of overtaken that for, you know, the excitement. But it's still a great division, the cruiserweights. I think the cruiserweights, absolutely fantastic division. I think there's a, there's a lot of good fights out there. And there's a lot of good fighters. It'd be interesting to see how he fares against those other fighters. I think they look to step him up slowly. I think they'd be right to do that. But he's, he's definitely, he's got a lot of potential. And although, although as he's come to win, he's, he's, he's always looked kind of second best in there, yeah. yeah. He's always looked, his, his best chance would be a lucky punch. Well, good respect there for the six rounds and uh, good way to start the show. Cheers for that, Dan. Yep, no worries. Appreciate I'll see you in a bit, okay.